when I was little, I was a child who needed a lot of attention. So actually, I, I wanted to become somebody who was always in the spotlight, uh, a performer or an entertainer uh, or an actor. I'm a bit more humble now. So uh, now I wanted to shift the focus on what we are doing. So what we are realizing rather than who is doing it. So, um, let's say that the focus is now rather on the solution we offer than the persons who, uh, who bring the solution. Uh, now we have a company called Suitcase. So we founded the company, me and my um, partner Joop, we started the company, uh, which offers a solution for guys who don't know how to shop, um, don't have the time to go shopping or just um, don't know what to wear every day. Suitcase works in a particular way that the customer only has to be one uh, uh, one time at our website, who so has to profile himself. He's just going to say what his measurements are, what his budget is, what his preferred style is. And based on that, uh, he gets a personal style advisor. And that style advisor will give you a call and ask you like, hey, what's missing in your wardrobe? Or uh, what item do you prefer in your wardrobe right now? Which are the items you maybe uh, wear a bit too much? And based on that profile, we send them two to three outfits and we really pre-style it. So we put a shirt um, right uh, beneath a, a sweater, a pants, some shoes, some socks and boxers in it, and then we send it to the client and the customer can, can uh, try it on at home for seven days in a row, get some honest feedback from family and friends, and just send back the items which didn't make the cut. So he only has to pay for the items he, he has kept. I started the company together with my partner Joop in, um, in an attic in Krabeke. So we, um, we didn't find a lot of investors in the beginning because they weren't familiar with the concept. So we had to explain a lot, had to make a business plan. And then we got a small loan from a bank and that small loan gave us the opportunity to prove the concept in the market. So there was a lot of demand at first because we said, okay, let's do 400 suitcases in one year. Uh, and then we'll prove the concept in the market. But actually we had uh, over 1,500 subscriptions in uh, three months time. So the attic became too small. I went to find a warehouse. We need to find investment for the stock uh, personnel uh, because we had operational capacity problems. So it was really exciting to, to get noticed in such a quick way by so many uh, men. <music> Valeric gave me actually the opportunity. So when I was a child, I had a lot of ideas. And when I was a 25 year old a guy, I had even more ideas, but they weren't funneled. So Valeric gave me the opportunity to funnel those ideas, test and pitch those ideas with the right people. I learned a lot in um, operations management. Um, so operations management gave me the opportunity to look at the current operations we do every day. So from uh, the intake with the client until the final um, boxing of the of the suitcase itself and at the end uh, the focusing is on um, increasing your volume every day increasing your turnover every day so how can you do this it's by looking at your operations and trying to smoothen that operation every day again and that's what I really took away from uh, Valeric because they focused on operational management and looking at your business because in the end we're a startup we started with making one suitcase and we didn't know how to do it. We didn't know how to call the client, how to address the client, how to send it via which channel. So it's a con continuous process you try to optimize every day. Uh, the key message is that you should be aware of the golden cage uh, because uh, sometimes people start a company, they get a paycheck, they get a car, uh, they get a nice insurance plan and all that. But uh, people should try to take the path that which is maybe less comfortable and try to leave the golden cage in order to, to find the answer to their questions or ideas. <laughs>